some strong, 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 some strong things. Um, he's empowering and equipping a lot of people who are business owners for not just now, but for later. Uh, many of us have gotten stuck into making it for right now, dealing for right now, building for right now, um, setting things up for right now. But what the Lord is doing in this quarantine moment in time, and I'm going to give you what he showed me. So for many of us, this is not a, uh, a tumultuous time. The Lord has literally pressed pause on our lives so that we have the moment to first rest, then to recalibrate. First rest, then to recalibrate. What happens with life is that we get so busy being busy that we never stop to allow to, we, it's very hard to stop to go back to God and say, what am I doing? What should I be doing? Is this working? Am I in your timing with this? And what I know the Lord has done even for me and for many of the people that I lead with, they are saying, you know what, we are paused. We have had time to rest and to recalibrate. I tell people all the time, a rested person, a rested man or woman can change the world. A lot of us, oh, we're all mantled and marked to change the world, but we can only do that with a rested mind because a rested mind has a, has a fresh perspective and a rested mind is really secluded and tapped into God. What has happened and what I've seen over time is believers are so busy being believers and being active that we're not rested so we're disconnected. We think that we're connected. We're fighting to stay connected when that shouldn't be the fight right now. We should not be fighting for that. We should be naturally just kind of become one. So I'm ready to jump on and I wanted to release that to you. Also, the Lord showed me very vividly um, that we hear, we quote the scriptures quite often, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous, that there is a massive transfer happening. Um, when the stimulus checks started to drop out, I was not shocked because I saw that the Lord was putting money in the hands of those who needed capital to do his will. Say it with me. Some of us need capital to do his will. What the Lord did in that moment was allow the money that we have given this government by way of taxes, and I won't even get into my thoughts on that, to start to finance some of the ventures, to, to, to give us the seed money to invest in ourselves so that we can represent the kingdom in excellence by A, being in, in, in proper order with what we need and equipped for the journey ahead. Amen. So listen, um, don't think it's strange of what's happening right now. Don't even be shocked if we get another stimulus check or even a larger amount because the Lord is making sure that we have what we need to not just take care of our families in this moment because we know that um, we don't believe in lack because we serve a father who has a cattle on a thousand hills that we don't we do not do lack but what he's doing is making sure that the extra funds that we may not see to have right now are present so that we can make the necessary investments in ourselves to be prepared for what's to come the world is not going to end with this. It's not going to end with this pandemic. It's not going to end with the riots. It's not going to end with the looting. There will be, there is a what's to come and what's to come. Us being prepared for what's to come is imperative and it's pivotal right now. So we're with that, we're just going to jump on in to our prayer points today. I'm going to hit these points and hit these targets and then we're going to go on and we're going to go forward. Um, I know this has been a powerful time in God and some of us, you know, maybe a little tired for those who are new. We're glad to have you. We're going to stir ourselves for a moment and then we're going to jump right on in because we know this, that there's a major transfer happening. We are praying and lifting up our small business owners and fellow entrepreneurs in this time frame because the Lord is releasing all that is needed, not just money, but he's also releasing strategy and wisdom and clarity on what's timing and what needs to be done. Amen. So let us go before the Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. Father, we put you back on the throne. You are God and God alone. You don't oh, need yeah, our help, yeah, but you do need God. our Yes, you are willing and committed in your discipline. You're, you're to us. You're committed to us. And so, God, in this moment, we commit ourselves to you. We realign our hearts. We put our minds back on you. We put our focus back on you. We put our will back in yours. We put our hands back in yours. We allow you to invade and infiltrate our hearts so that we may go forward, not just doing what we want to do, but doing what you've designed us to do. God, you have a specific design in mind for each and every one of us. You are the author. You are all, you are an author. You are the publisher. You are the editor. You are the one that is literally He's handcrafted and wrote the plan called our life. So, Father, we submit that to you. We submit ourselves back to you. We submit our minds back to you. We submit our hearts back to you. We put you back on the throne. So often it's easy for us to pull you off because of what may be happening here and what may be happening there. But God, in this moment, we are putting you back on the throne. You are King Jesus. You are our ruler. You are our king. You are our Lord. You are the Lord. You are the one and only. There is nobody beside you. There's nobody that, come clo that comes close to you. And Father, we reverence you. We love on you. We, we invoke you. We call upon you. We let you know that you are needed, God. You are necessary. Our lives are not the same without you. We know what it's like to be without you, but, but, but because we have access to you, we'll never live that life 
again. So, Father, we just love on you right now. We put you back in your rightful place. We put you back in your rightful place. So many things are happening outside that we don't have control over. But in this moment, we put our king back on his throne. We take we take Trump off the throne. We take our local representatives off the throne. We take other people that we place on there off the throne. God, we put you back on there because that is a seat that is designed for you. That is a seat that is crafted for you. And when you're sitting there and when we keep you there in our lives, God, we are in, we are on full. We are on fire. We are on track. We are right where we need to be. So, Father, we thank you. Father, we lift you. Father, we, we're lifting up right now our small business owners and entrepreneurs, um, those that are active right now and even those to come. Father, we thank you for what you're doing, God. We understand and we believe that the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous and that there's a divine transfer. God, that divine transfer is small business. So, Father, we thank you for anointing us with the ability to have small businesses, to start, to restart, to realign, to replenish, to, to, to reignite, God. We thank you for it. We know that you are faithful to those that, that love you. We know that you are faithful to those that are committed to you. And so, God, we commit our businesses back to you right now. We commit our ideas. We commit our concepts. We commit these things back to you right now because with your breath on those things, they are designed to be successful and they're destined to be effective. God, we thank you right now that you've not just called us to be in business and to have endeavors, God, but you've called us to be effective in the earth. So, Father, we thank you right now that every small business owner and every entrepreneur has a dose, has a has a, has a, um, a baptism of effectiveness, God, that we look at what we're doing and we're saying, is this effective? Is this changing lives? Is this changing hearts? Is this changing the narrative of people that are people changing their lives because of what we're doing. God, we're not just in it to make money. Money is the byproduct byproduct of our obedience and our willingness to commit to what you told us to do. God, we thank you that you've given us an ability to effect change. You've given us the ability to do one thing and make a dollar. God, you've given us the ability to make a dollar and a difference at the same time. Thank you, Lord, for trusting us with that. Thank you, Lord, for trusting us with ideas. Thank you, Lord, for trusting us with the hearts of men. Thank you, Lord, for trusting us with the ideas of men. Thank you, Lord, for even trusting us with the money that, the, the, the money that others have garnered from their lives. God, we thank you for trusting us with that. We understand that small business owners and entrepreneurs, it is a trust factor. Lord, you've anointed us for this. Lord, you've positioned us for this. Lord, you called us to do this. People need what we have. People need what we have, and we're not in it for money. We are 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 in it for effectiveness. God, we understand the kingdom works off effectiveness. When we are believe, when we as believers are effective, lives are forever transformed. Not just changed for a moment, not just changed for a season, but transformed. So, Father, we thank you right now that the business Businesses that we have our hands and become let our hands become green like green thumbs. That everything that we touch begins to prosper. That everything that we touch begins to live and live in ways that it never has lived before. God, we thank you that entrepreneurs and business owners that are rising to come. God, they're they're walking in knowing that this is who the Lord has designed me to be, who He's called me to be. And I'm not here for money. Ah, uh, God, we're not here for money. We're here for effectiveness. We're here for effectiveness. So, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for trusting us. Thank God, we thank you for uh, endowing us what we have. God, we're calling for stewardship in this hour. As moment and times are perilous and things seem to be out of touch or crazy, God, we thank you right now that you're endowing us with stewardship, that we look at what we have, God. We see what's there and we say, Lord, let me do the best with this. Let me align this properly. Let me do what. Let me do right by you and do right by what you've trusted me with. Father, we thank you for it, God. We lift up the hearts of the entrepreneurs, God. We know that we're not in it for their money, but God, we understand that lives are things happening. God, we thank you right now that you're faithful to your word, that there is no lack that shall hit their homes, oh God. There's no lack that shall hit their homes. Their kids are blessed. Their kids are fed. Their businesses are protected. Thank you, Jesus. Their businesses are protected. Thank you, Jesus. Their money is safe, oh God. Their families are safe, oh God. Their minds are even intact, oh God. Their minds are not. We come against depression. We come against anxiety and worry for people trying to figure out how they're going to do it. We're just going to say, we just trust God. We just trust God. We know that, God, you are faithful. You are able. You are consistent. And your resume is extremely long. What we've seen you do before, you will do again. So, Father, we thank you right now for putting us in position to trust you, for you putting us in a in, in position to, to lean into obedience, God, to lean into it like never before, God. We, we thank you for it right now for putting us in the opportunity to see you in a new way because we have to trust you. We have to lean into you. And that's the safest place for us to be. Trusting in God and leaning into God is putting us in the will of God. And God, we know in the will of God, we are protected. We are provided for. We are healed. We are delivered. We are covered. We have all that we need. So, Father, we thank you right now for putting us in position where we are leaning into you, where we are trusting you like we never have before. And God, we thank you for this season. We thank you for this test. We thank you for these moments in time for business owners and entrepreneurs. It is not to make us cave in under pressure. It is for us to look on the inside and see what else is there. Father, we thank you that you've made us multifaceted. Oh God, you've made us multifaceted. There's a comma behind every last one of our names, not just for degrees, but even for new skill sets. So Father, we awaken, we speak to new skill sets and say, come up. 
Come alive. Come alive. Come alive. God, we thank you right now for this moment in time, for this pause, this moment to relax, to this moment to restore, to realign, for us to have a time to look in within us and say, what else is there? Father, we thank you for the what else is there on the inside of each and every one of us. God, we thank you right now that this season is making us get creative. It's making us get innovative. It's making us be willing to say, what else is in there? And Father, we're so thankful that you've layered us. God, you've stacked us with gifts. You've staffed, you staffed our lives, not just for people, but even with talent. God, we call for new skill sets, new abilities. God, we thank you right now that in dreams tonight, you're going to reveal what else we're good at, what else we can do to be profitable, what else we can do to be effective. God, you're faithful to us. God, you're faithful to us, and you're so faithful to us, you gave us layers. You gave us layers of gifts, layers of talents, layers of skills. So, Father, we die right now. We embrace this season. We embrace this season. We allow this season to be what it is. And, Father, we say thank you that, behold, you are doing a new thing. And with moments in time where it looks like we don't know what's going on, we know just what's going on. God is working. God is digging. God is pulling off the scales. God is adjusting our hearts. He's, t he's stepping into our minds. Our minds now have a moment to be like what Jesus Christ described it to be. God, we thank you right now that connections happen. And because connections are happening, God, we are seeing things from a perspective we've never seen before. Father, we thank you right now that the new perspective is going to be what allows us to see what else is in there. God, we thank you right now that we can let land on and stand on the fact that there is something else on the inside of us. You're so faithful to us that you've given us so much more and God we thank you right now that we have the moment we have the time to sit down to pull out our paper and to write on the top of the paper what else is inside of me but Father we thank you right now that you're going to begin to answer those prayers when we pray the prayers God what else is on the inside of me God you're answering so fast I hear 72 hours we'll know what else is on the inside of us in 72 hours if we commit ourselves to you we'll know what is on the inside of us because Father you are faithful you are not just a God that provides when it comes to bills you are Jehovah Jireh the one who provides you you are the Lord that provides information. And Father, because we know you provide information, you'll give us all that we need. It is not your will for us to be confused or lost as to what we are doing and what we're not supposed to be doing or what we should be starting, God. So we thank you right now for answers, God. You're God that answers not just by fire, but you answer by words. So I thank you right now for peace, for quiet time, for us to be able to hear downloads from heaven as to what else is in there. God, is so much on the inside of us. It, it's so much on the inside of us. But God, we thank you for tough seasons. We even say thank you, Lord, for the tough times that we're in because it's allowing us to have a moment to see and to sit and to go to you and say, God, what else is on the inside of me? What else is on the inside of me? Yes, yes, yes. What else is on the inside of me? Some of us don't even realize that there's an author on the inside of us. There are writers on the inside of us. There are administrative professionals on the inside of us. There are ideas. There are, gener there are people who are executionists that you could be making hundreds and hundreds of more thousands of dollars a year by you just knowing what all is on the inside of you. But Father, we're so thankful that even for years where we've mismanaged and did not know what else is there, that you're going to give it to us in 72 hours or less. You're going to give it to us in 72 hours or less. Gone are the days when we're confused and we're unsure of what else we should be doing. Father, you're answering. Father, you're answering. God, you're answering for some people even right now. You're giving them wisdom. You're giving them insight. You're giving them clarity. You're giving them a newfound perspective. You're giving them a new way to look at what they currently do. Shit. You're giving them a new way to look at what they currently do. Father, we thank you for the new ways that we're going to look at what we do. We thank you for the new ways, for the new eyes that we're going to be able to look into our current situations and see new things. God, we thank you for the revelation that's going to come from us having uh, taken one more glance at one thing. God, we thank you for it. God, we thank you that you make all things new. You specialize in new. You love doing a new thing. You love working into something new. So, Father, we thank you for being mindful of us. Enough mindful of us to know, to uh, give it, be mindful enough to, for us to know that you are working you are there you are willing and there is something new Woo, there is something new somebody typed in the comments there is something new there's something new father you're faithful there's something new father you're loving there is something new father you love me there is something new because I know that, that you hold the world in your hands I know there is something new there is something new there is something new father we thank you for the something new that is hitting the hands God we thank you for the something new that is hitting Kamaria father we thank you for the something new that is hitting Doris father we thank you for the something new that is hitting Tasha Father, we thank you for the, something new that is hitting Kalisha and Terry and Kenyatta and Esther and Gil and Dee and, and Jazzy Jazz and Chanel Reed. God, we thank you for the things that are hitting them right now. God, we thank you for new eyes and new perspective, new logic, new insight. Father, we also lift up our business owners and our current entrepreneurs, their mental state right now. God, your word says, let this mind that be in us be in Christ Jesus. God, we understand in these moments and times when people are unsure of a whole lot, we can be sure that you still reign supreme. And in that it's peace. And that is peace. 
And that is joy. And that is the ability to laugh when it doesn't look like anything's funny. And that, so God, we come against, we call forth the minds of every entrepreneur and every business owner from, from, from one side of the country to the next guy. And we say, Jesus, step in. Jesus, step in. Touch their mind. Let them be reminded in a moment that you are still reigning supreme, that you are the author and the finisher, and that you are in total control. Father, we speak to the minds of artists right now, My, um, music musicians, um, um, and those that have been displaced because they can't gig and they can't sing. Father, let them know right now that you have re their resources for them. There are resources for them. You love them just as much as you did when they were singing on platforms and singing on stage, and that you will provide. So, Father, we thank you right now for even laying on the hearts of those who are connected to singers and musicians to send blessings, God. You've blessed quite, quite a few of us in this season exponentially so that we're able to give and give and to give cheerfully. So, Father, we thank you right now that our artists are taken care of, our musicians are taken care of, uh, our background singers are taken care of, our praise and worship singers, are, our leaders are taken care of. Father, in this moment in time where things don't look right, Father, we ask you as the seeds are put into their hands, as seeds are put into their cash apps, that you begin to download in, into them what else is on the inside of me. Father, we thank you right now for, the, for a movement of people asking the Lord, what else is on the inside of me? And Holy Spirit, we thank you that as soon as they ask these questions, there will be answers. Father, we thank you that you're an answer. So as we pray for their minds, I'm sorry, we shifted to the artist. As we pray for the mindset and the, and the logic and the perspective of those who are, are creatives, um, or who are, are entrepreneurs and business owners, Father, just be there. Be there. Let them have some sort of confirmation, some sort of encounter before midnight tonight that they were reminded that you love them and that you are still the God that provides, that you are still consistent, you are still faithful, you are still moving, and you are still doing on their behalf. So, Father, I thank you right now that depression is canceled. I, I thank you right now that depression is canceled. God, I pray right now that people begin to open their blinds and to get outside and to receive fresh air. God, anxiety is gone. We don't have to worry. We don't have to worry. We have a Father who has cattle on a thousand hills. The Lord can move in, in a in an instant moment. So, Father, we thank you right now that anxiety must leave. It must flee. It must flee. Worry must go. We come against these things that become mountains to us, that stand before us as mountains that we can't get, that we can't find a way around or, or have the strength to climb. But I thank you right now that worry, anxiety, doubt is all leaving right now because, God, we can trust in you. You are showing yourself to be faithful. You are showing yourself to be true. And we are leaning into you, God. We are leaning into you. And we don't know what else to do. Where else could we go? What better place could we go than into the rock? What, what better place could we go and into the God that will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think? So, Father, I thank you right now for even strategic prayers that in this moment in time and in this season where entrepreneurs and creatives and singers and artists may not have the, the strength to pray, that God, I pray right now that you anoint their words where they pray the right prayers so that when you begin to answer, they know what they're hearing because they know what they ask. Father, I thank you right now for, um, for surefire laser prayers, prayers that are so extremely focused that, God, you have no, they have no other plan or no other way but to accept this is what the Lord is saying unto me. Father, we thank you right now that people will have the strength to go back to prayer. God, I call Call, for, call forth business owners and entrepreneurs who have taken a break from their mantle of prayer, who have taken a break for their moment of going to God, who have taken a break from their walk with Christ in this moment in time because of discouragement. Father, I pray right now that you begin to touch them where they are. God, I pray right now that you put somebody in their past to remind them of the goodness of Jesus and how he's moving and how he still loves them. And even though they've taken a moment off, they can get back on the wall. So, Father, I thank you right now for prayer strategies. God, I, pray, I thank you right now that you're going to answer prayers. You're going to give million-dollar ideas inside of prayer. So, Father, I thank you right now that even those of us who have not lost our zeal for prayer, that we push our entrepreneurs, that we push our... um our singers, our musicians, that we push our small business owners to stay on the wall and to get into their prayer closets. Because in the prayer closet is where major exchanges are happening. We're not really sure what's going on. And for some of us, we're very sure what's going on because we've been in our prayer closets. So Father, I thank you right now that you're giving us a burden for those who have walked away from their prayer closets. That not only are we praying for them while they are away, that we, when we, when we come, come into contact with them, we'll remind them, hey, get back to prayer. All you need is in prayer. All you need is in prayer. All you need is in prayer. Your answers are in prayer. Your clarity is in prayer. Your peace is in prayer. Your understanding is in prayer. That, that shot of joy you need is in prayer. It's not in the bottom of a bottle. It's in prayer. It's not in the, in, in the bed with somebody. It's in prayer. It's not you smoking and getting high. It's in prayer. God, we thank you right now that the people are going to be reminded that you are the God that still answers prayers. Woo. God, you still answer prayers. You still answer prayers. Father, Father, I thank you right now for innovation, that for those of us who have been in business and doing things one way, that you're giving us a new perspective and a new outlook and a new 
way to do what we do. Father, we thank you right now that we have been able to be blessed in the past, but we have ran the course of old systems, old routines, old ways of doing things. But Father, I thank you right now that innovation is hitting the hearts, innovation is hitting the mind, innovation is hitting the spirits of those who are business owners and those who are future business owners. God, I thank you right now that you're anointing us for problems, that we don't look at what we do as just what we, we're doing this because we, this is how we provide, but we look at it as like we are answering the world's problems. I thank you, Lord, that you're giving us a new perspective on how to look at what we do. When we see that thing and we see it, we realize there's another way to do it. There's an easier way to do it. There's a better way to do it. And there are more people to be impacted by what we do. Father, I thank you right now that small business owners are not falling into a, a spirit of comparison and I'm starting to backbite and fight for clientele, even though things don't make sense right now that's going on in the world. God, I thank you right now that you're reminding them that comparison is not something that's going to live in their lives. Father, we come against the spirit of comparison because it is a spirit and we drive it out. We say there's room for you at the table, at the right table, at the tables you've been anointed for, there is room for you. Father, I thank you right now that we have a, the burden to remind entrepreneurs and business owners, there is room for you. There's money to be made by you. You don't have to fight. You don't have to scruff. You don't have to backbite. You don't have to act like you're not a kingdom citizen. You can say, you know what? I trust God. I'm going to do my part. And God's going to release to me those that are needed by me, those that, are, that need my anointing, that need my coaching, that need my book, that need my business plan, that need what I'm selling, that need whatever I'm producing, that need what I'm recording. Father, I thank you right now that comparison must go. We, the comparison must go. Gone are the days where we fight other kingdom representatives about things that God has given us all space to do. Father, there's, God, I pray for an awakening, a reminder that there are so many people that, that are looking for us that we, are, we, that we don't forget the fact that we are in need. People are in need of our services. People are in need of our services. God, we come against this mindset that says that, that we're in a recession. We are not in a recession. Business owners are not in a recession. We're in the middle of a divine transfer. It's not a recession. It's the middle of a divine transfer. People are coming. People are looking. People are saying, you know what? What I thought was stable is not stable. Let me build what I'm supposed to build. Let me come to you. So, Father, I thank you right now that a recession mindset is gone. We are not strumming. We are not struggling to find things. We're not struggling to put things together. Everything we need is there, and we're building for forward. We're building to go forward. We we're building to go up. So Father, I thank you right now that, the, that we come out of the agreement with this recession. We, we, we have recession-proof businesses. We have recession-proof courses. We have recession-proof nonprofits. We have recession-proof uh, shelters. We have recession-proof online boutiques. We have recession-proof uh, institutes. We have recession-proof things because we don't serve a God that acknowledges a recession. The recession is not what he's promised us. He's promised us life and life more abundantly. And life more abundantly includes our bills being paid, our food food being on our tables, clothes on our back, us not being in the dark. We got, we know that that comes with us having life and life more abundantly. You didn't call us to do this thing and to be committed to you for things to go haywire and we don't even have you to have our back. We have you that have all of heaven backs us when we do things. All of heaven backs us when we speak things. All of heaven backs us when, even when we begin to sow things. God, all of heaven backs us because you told us to do it and because it is your will, it is your will that we are in, it is also your bill. God, I pray that the, um, the burden of um, the, the burden begins to alleviate for those business owners who have brick and mortar front spaces where they're saying, how am I going to pay these bills? God, I come against landlords who are operating in a way that God is not pleased. God, I pray you speak to the hands and the hearts of the landlords as they lay in their beds tonight. Get, let, let grace periods be given. Let, let rents be canceled for the rest of the year, God. We thank you for, we know that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ask or think. God, I thank you right now that these landlords, their hearts are being touched. Rates are going down permanently. Not just for a moment. Rates are going down permanently. Connect to that. Agree with that. Rates are going down permanently. For those who are paying for, for spaces, for paying for, um, for, for rooms inside of studios, rates are going down permanently because the God is touching the hearts of the landlords and things are shifting in our direction. They're shifting in our favor. This is a moment of divine transfer. Jump in. Let you, allow your spirits to grab hold of that. This is a moment of divine transfer. Things are not happening to us. They're happening for us. We're seeing things happen for us. It may not look like it, but it's for us. It may not seem like it, but it's for us because God is that faithful. God, we thank you right now that our money's covered. 
Every business owner, every entrepreneur, their money is covered. It's not just growing, it is also covered. We speak to the devourer. We say, take your hands off of our finances. We take, we say, take your hands even off the pockets of our future clients. God, we say, take your hands off of it. What we do and what we do when we're called to be effective in the kingdom, God, you're sending a resource. You're sending a resource to the client who is going to be able to make a transaction with us that's going to be changed their life for forever. Father, we thank you right now that the money is covered. Insurance, a premium Premiums are going down. So much is being shifted all right now because we're praying in the moment. Father, we thank you right now that small money is being given, not loans. We come against uh, loans being the, the, those who are processing and considering small business loans. We say no. We say no to the loan and we say yes to God's original plan. There is a there is somebody coming to send seed. There is somebody coming to write a check. There is somebody coming to to, to sign up to make a, ca a cash app. Um, there's somebody coming to make a PayPal transfer that will give you what you were going to take out a loan for. We come against loans right now. We say we know that God, you did not call us to be in debt. You didn't call us to live in debt. You didn't call us to work in debt and you didn't call us to build in debt. So Father, we speak debt free blessings over all of our entrepreneurs, uh, uh, debt free blessings all over our um, a small business owners that we look at this moment in time and say, God, we thank you for strategy on not just what to do right now, but what to do for going forward, God, because we don't have to worry about debt. We say no to debt. We say no to debt, God. We know that what you'll do for our businesses, you'll also do for our homes. So we speak to debt and we say, get away. We speak to debt and we say, you have to go. We speak to debt and say, you're not welcome here. We come out of agreement with the mindset of poverty, with, with impoverished thinking, impoverished movements, impov impoverished movements. God, we come against credit overuse of credit cards. We say no. We say we trust God for seed and because we trust God for seed and he's faithful to perform what he said in his word, seed is coming. Yes, Lord. Seed is coming. Somebody put that in the comments. Seed is on the way. Seed is coming. Seed is coming. We, this, this credit card thing, the Lord is calling for us to get out of that, to put those down, to put those down. If we trust God with the, if we trust God for to a bring seed, seed will come. If we do our part with the tithe and are faithful in our walk, the seed will come. So, God, we speak against credit card. God, you even give us a lot of us resources in this moment in time to pay off credit cards for good. And I speak to those. If you have the money to pay it off, pay it off. Pay it off and cut it up. Pay it off and cut it up. We come against that credit card debt that is silently trying to eat us back into poverty. We say no. We say no. We say no. We say no. We Not only will we trust God, we will work hard to ensure that whatever we need is, is, is present and accounted for and we don't go in debt to get it. Father, we thank you for that. We thank you for that. We thank you for that. And that's why it's imperative for us to know what else is on the inside of there. I speak to somebody and I say, what else is on the inside of you will be the thing that gives you the seed money to buy what you need to do what you need to do. You know what else is on the inside of there is going to be the doorway for the seed money for you to do what else you, it is you're supposed to do. Father, we thank you for what else is on the inside of us. Father, we, we embrace whatever it is on the inside of us. Father, we even embrace the things that we've put down and, and labeled to be minute because they weren't big stage gifts or big stage or put us on large platforms. Father, we rebuke that. We come back to you and say, Father, we, 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 we repent for mismanaging what you've given us. Father, we all repent for mismanaging what you've given us, for looking at things that you have given us to be big, and we've made them small because we didn't see it the way you saw it. But Father, we thank you right now that in the midst of us coming back to you and turning our hearts back to you and even being willing to observe what we've put down in the past, that you're going to show us what it is that we need for the future. Father, we thank you right now that when we put these gifts down and put these talents in the corner and, and mark them as unusable and not necessary, that you didn't take them off of our docket. Father, we thank you right now that you allowed those things to sit and for this moment, for a time such as this, so when we pull those things up, we're pulling up new ideas. We're pulling up new streams, ha. Huh? We're pulling up new streams, ha. Huh? We're pulling up new streams out of the things that we sat down and said, this isn't it. Who? this isn't it. This wasn't the one. When in all that's right, the Lord has anointed that one for this moment in time. And Father, we thank you for it. Father, we thank you for it. Father, we honor you for it. Father, we love you for loving us enough to allow those things that we put down to not to leave our side. Father, we thank you for not allowing those things that we put down to leave our side. Whew. Father, we thank you right now for not allowing those things we put down to leave our side. God, we thank you that those things are going to bring capital to our families. Those things are going to be able to pull us out of debt, God. Those things are going to be able to allow us to be able to pay off credit cards and pay off these small loans that we have when we're just trying to make ends meet and we didn't know what else to do. Father, we thank you for all the stuff that we put down that we can now pick up and look at it with a new perspective because, God, you've already asked us today what else is on the inside of us. And, God, you're faithful. 
God, you're so faithful. God, you are so faithful. There's money in what we put down. There's so much money sitting in what we put down. There's so much money sitting in what we put down. So, Father, I thank you right now for the grace and the strength to turn and to look back and see what it is we put down, to see what it is that we left alone, to see what it is we did and what we did and why we did it so we don't do it again. Father, we thank you that you're going to give us perspective and you're going to give us a new a new outlook, a new, a new mindset, a new drive, a new will to push, to press, to go forward, even when nobody supports us, even when nobody understands what we're doing, even when it doesn't make sense to us, Father, we'll trust you. We'll trust you. We'll trust you. We'll trust you. But God, we, we hear your word. We heed to your word in this moment. There is money and some, something that we put down, and God, we as a people pick it back up. Not just for us. We... We pick it up for our families. We pick it up for our friends. We pick it up for our loved ones. We pick these things up right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now that not only as we pick these things up, you have given us the ability and you've given us a promise of growth and expansion. God, you've designed us to prosper. You've designed us to prosper. Everything we touch should turn green. Everything we touch should live because you are the act. You are the one that lives on the inside of us. And as long as you're living in here, I, everything I touch should live. So, Father, we decree and declare that we are going to be, walk around like um like gardeners, where everything we touch turns green. It turns green. And not just money, but it turns. It gets green with life. It has it has a new sense of purpose. It has a new reason to live. It's going to turn green. Father, we thank you right now for the hands of us, for the hands of those that are touching people touching situations, and there everything is starting to turn green. Father, we thank you right now, and when it looks like things are drying up outside, when it looks like famine is trying to invade the land, we've got the answer. We've got the green thumbs, we've got the green hands, we've got the green mouths, we've got the greenery to change this thing. God, we come against famine, or what looked like famine before, we just know all it needs is one touch. All it needs is our touch. All it needs is our touch. And Father, we thank you for it. Father, we thank you for it. Father, we thank you that you have promised us expansion. You have designed us to grow. When we grow healthy, we're growing. We're expanding. So, Father, we come against right now any unhealthy expansion, anything that grew prematurely, anything that grew before structures and different things were in place that it, so it cannot sustain that it cannot sustain. Father, we thank you for choosing us this time to press pause on those things so that we have a moment and space to reevaluate so that we can restore right now so that we don't have to rebuild later. Hear me. We can restore right now and realign right now so that we're not forced to rebuild later. Father, we thank you for it. Father, we thank you for this pause that you've given us to have a new perspective, to understand that if it's growing too fast or if it's growing, we want to ensure that it is healthy, that we want to ensure that our systems and things are put into place that, that will allow us to sustain. God, you didn't call us to be like shooting stars for us to be beautiful for a moment and then boom, go away. God, you called us to sustain. You called us to live. You called us to go. You called us to be long term. You called us to be long-term. Father, I thank you right now for a long-term anointing that is sitting on the hearts of those and sitting in the minds and sitting in the hands of those who are business owners and entrepreneurs that when they begin to plan, when they begin to build, they are building with long-term in mind. Not quick money, God, but long-term. Not anything that's going to be quick, but sustainability. Sustaining. 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 God, I thank you right now for the grace to build for long-term. God, I thank you right now for even teams. God, you're, 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 you're staffing us and equipping a, a um, believers and entrepreneurs and, and, and small business owners to have the right minds around them so that they can think expansion. They can think sustainability. God, you didn't call us to be in business to make $20,000 and then stop there. God, you called us to own. You called us to own and we can't own without any money. So Father, we thank you right now that as growth and expansion hits our hands because we've taken a moment to realign and to restructure that we our, our hearts stay the same. That we don't get lost in the money. We're not in it for the money. The, the money is the blessing. This money is one of the blessings, but it's not the blessing. The blessing is us being effective and changing lives. But Father, we thank you right now that our hearts are going to stay intact as you grow and expand us, as you put us on platforms and put us on stages and on, um, uh, put us in new locations and put us before great men with our gifts and our talents. We are going to keep our hearts intact because we understand that God is because it's by your grace that we are doing this. It is by your grace that we even have the mindset to hold on. It is by your your grace that we are still alive and because of that God we're going to submit that to you we're going to say thank you to you we're going to hold on to you we're going to commit to not changing we're going to commit to not conforming we're making commitments in this moment that God as you bless us we won't go astray 
We won't go astray. As you give us new clientele, as you put our names in rooms and put our names in, um, at tables that we've never that we, that we never thought that we could be in, God, we won't change. We're not going to change our mind. We're not going to change our prayer habits. We're not going to change our devotional time. We're going to take it on up because it shows us that you are faithful to your word. When we do what you say to do and we lean into obedience, you are God that provides exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think. Father, I thank you right now for the rest of 2020. It'll be the, 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 the B clause of that scripture. A, God, I didn't think about this. I never thought about this, but God, I'm so thankful that it is. That's going to be our declaration. God, I didn't think about this, but I'm so glad you did. God, I didn't see myself in this place, but I'm so glad you did. I didn't see myself with this amount of money, but God, I'm so glad you did. God, I'm so glad you did. I didn't think it, but you did, and I'm so thankful that you are light years above me. So, Father, I thank you right now for the future of um, business owners and entrepreneurs that as we uh, we allow our innovation and creativity and our mental health to be intact and us to be committed to you, that you take us to the future. God, Give us, a, give us a moment in time where even if we need to come out of our body where we see how big of a future and how bright of a future you have for us. You called us to be big. You called us to be anointed because you called us to change the world from inside out. God, I thank you right now for the multifaceted that we, that we embrace the fact that we are good at more than one thing because we're supposed to be. God, gone are the days where we are frustrated by our, our, our talents. God, I speak to those who are um who are so talented and, 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 and they don't know what to do or where to start that they become tormented by their own talent. Whoo, God, but I thank you right now that you're, you're rearranging all of that. You're sending people into their lives to help them connect the dots, to have an understanding, to get some clarity, to know what is, to know what isn't, to know what's right now, to know what's not right now, to know what's for later, to know what's um for, for next month and for next year. God, I thank you right now that you're sending clarity, not just to business owners and entrepreneurs, but to us all. Us to us all. God, I pray right now that you are putting people in our path that allow us and help us to connect the dots. Gone are the days where we're confused and lost about what you put us on this earth to do. Father, I pray for a new sense and a new awakening, a fresh baptism of purpose that we understand, God, you put me here to change this thing from inside out, but I'm so grateful that you allow me to change it in more ways than one. Father, I thank you right now that people begin to have a new sense of purpose that even even in the midst of, of a pandemic that more people are finding their purpose. That is what we believe. We declare and decree that in the midst of a pandemic, that more people are becoming aware of their God-given purpose. God, I thank you right now that as, as, as we become aware, you will we'll be able to start to channel some of our energies, channel some of our frustration, channel some of our thoughts and ideas, and allow those things to not just to be, but to be what they're supposed to be and for who they're supposed to be for. Father, I thank you right now that even in the midst of what's going on outside, that you're doing a mighty, a mighty and a marvelous work on the inside. If we allow ourselves to avail in you and to allow ourselves to abide in you, you'll do just what you do, what you need to do, because God, we have finally made time for you to do it. I don't know where I'm my time. Who? Because I can keep going. Okay, I got a little more time. Father, we thank you right now that you're going to continue to do it. You're going to continue to do it. And even for those, God, that may not have had the moment where they've allowed surgery to begin in the midst of this pandemic. Father, I thank you right now that surgery begins today. Surgery begins today. We'll make the time to lay on the table to allow you to step on in, God, and do what you need to do from the inside out. God, you called us to be great. You've marked us to be great. We have no choice but to be great because we are made in your image. But, Father, we thank you right now that you're willing, you're so willing to stop an entire world. You're so, you're so mindful of me. You're so mindful of us that you're willing to stop everything dead in this track so that I have more time for you to do on the inside of me what you've been wanting to do for 20 years, what you've been looking to do for 30 years, what you've been trying to do for 40 years. But God, we finally have the time. So Father, we right now, we avail ourselves to you. We avail ourselves to you. God, we, we come up, we come out of agreement with stress and anxiety and doubt and worry and wondering where our money's gonna come from. We avail ourselves to you. And as long as you abide in us, all that we need, your hand will provide. All that we are searching for, your hand will provide. All that we need to have done you will do. And that starts on the inside. So Father, we thank you for it. Father, we thank you for it. Also, God, we cover the families of those who are full-time entrepreneurs, who are business, small business owners, that in a moment in time where they're, that they have the peace, that, 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 that you sit on them to give them a level of peace where they don't even ask certain questions. That they say, where, they, where they're able to say, you know what, it looks like mom and dad are trusting God. We're going to trust God too. God, I pray right now that stress becomes to alleviate off the entire family. That everyone gets, gets, gets comes out of agreement with stress and anxiety and worry in doubt. God, I pray that even our families right now, families of business owners and entrepreneurs, I pray that in this moment in time, they are falling in love with their families again. 
that they're falling in love with being home, that they're falling in love with having time to commune and to do life with their kids because they can't hustle and bustle. They can't run out to go to work. They can't run out to do something with a client. They have to stay home. So Father, we thank you right now for even anointing this time for families to be reunited, for families to be reconnected, God. We thank you for it. It may seem strange, but God, we know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and God because we love you. We know that you are using all of this time. You're using this one unfortunate situation to do so much. And God, we thank you for it that, that, that you're so big and so vast that you can heal our family wounds by just giving us time together. You can restore our family structures by putting us in a space, by allowing, by forcing us to be in the house. Father, I thank you right now that marriages are coming back together. Marriages for those who are business owners and entrepreneurs, and sometimes where there may have been strife because one party doesn't understand the 24-7 of building a, a personal business, and the other party is a 9-to-5 corporate employee. Father, we thank you right now that strife is even leaving the home. Conversations are now being had. People are not too tired and too stressed out and too frustrated because of work to have necessary conversations in their home. Father, we thank you for it. Father, we anoint the dinner table. Father, we anoint the dinner table going forward that as families sit and have dinner together, that conversations, dialogue is beginning to happen. And much needed conversation, much needed dialogue is beginning to happen. It's beginning to happen. It's beginning to happen because the family needs to be healed. But Father, the family needs time to be healed. So God, we thank you right now for the baptism and the, the gift of time that you've given us. You've given us so much more time. You've given us a, a, a perspective on how much time we actually have and what we can do with it. So, Father, we thank you for it. Father, we glorify you for it. Father, we honor you for it. We bless you for it. We know that you are working. We can rejoice in the fact that you are working. We can dance and pray in the fact that you are working. You've never forgotten us. You've never left us. You're never going to forsake us. You're here with us every step of the way. You are looking to, let, to, re, to reveal to us what else is on the inside of us. What else can we put to you? What else can you use for your glory? What else can you use to expand your kingdom? What else can you do to make us who you designed us to be? God, we thank you that you've given us the grace and the time and the space for us to do what needs to be done. So, Father, I pray a special blessing to all of those who are um, getting ready that in this time frame they've been uh, they've been they've had downloads of new business ventures to log into or to jump into. Father, I pray right now that they feel the release and the green light to go and to go fast, to go forward, to not look back, to do it. Yes, they're going to say you're crazy. Yes, they're going to say you, this doesn't make any sense. Yes, they're going to say you're not even qualified for this. But if the Lord told you, go. God, I thank you right now for the ability and the spirit of, of a sprinter. That as we take off, we go. We go. And as we sprint forward, we have we begin to build longevity so that we can run this race to the fullness at, the, at a good pace, at God's pace for us. And we can do what we need to do. So God, I thank you right now for the release for us to go. Go into all the the earth go into new avenues go into new schools go back to school go and finish go and start it's never too late god you've anointed us with time right now because it's time that we've never had we've time that we've never had the chance to stop to see what we need to do but father we thank you for it right now the grace to go i i, I pray that we begin to uh that for those that are watching and those that are here to replay they'll begin to see green lights everywhere every time they turn around it's a green light it's a green light so that they, so that they are reminded to go go for that new thing go for that big thing go for the thing that, go for the thing you've been rejected from or for if they gave you a no before go again this time God is doing some different God is doing something different God is anointing some things right now to happen that God it's, it's almost like we have had red lights and, and, and we have been at red lights in a lot of different things in a lot of different spaces in our life but now God has given us the grace to go and when you go and God gives you grace to go and when you go upon his His instruction his commandment there'll be so much there waiting on you there'll be gifts and good surprises there'll be cancellations and price reductions there'll be scholarships there'll be um, funding just dropping to you because you went at the right time so father we thank you for the green light we thank you for the green light that we all have. We thank you, God, for the green light this season has given us. We thank you for the green light. Father, we honor you for the green light. We thank you that you held us. God, we thank you that you even held us when you held us for the time that you held us because you knew that we were not ready, we were not mature, we had not been processed. But God, we thank you right now that because we've allowed the processes of life to happen for us to go through and go to, and we allow things to happen for us because we know that all things are working for us and for our betterment. God, we have the grace to go now, and we can go stronger than ever. We can go further than we ever thought we could and we can obtain and have more because we've got the green light to go because we've allowed God to do what he needed to do. So saints of God, I say go, 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 go. Use your discernment. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Let him guide you, but you've got, to, you've got the green light to go. So for those who have been stagnant, I come against that spirit of stagnation and complacency. Go.
Go right now. Go, go do it while the courage is there. Do it while the courage is sitting on you. You've got to go. In this week, I declare and decree that as you guys begin to go, that you'll see supernatural favor. You'll see exponential favor in areas that you've never seen before because you all decided to go now. So go. Don't look back. Don't think twice. Go. You've got to go. Favor's waiting on you. Favor's waiting. Favor's going to meet you when you start, but you've got to go first. You'll, you'll, get, you'll obtain that favor every step of the way that you make, but you've got to go. So, Father, we thank you right now for the grace and the strength and the boldness to go. The boldness and the courage that we find in your word, that we find in your presence. The boldness and courage that you left here for us. The boldness and courage that you are, we have. And, God, we thank you right now that as we go, lives will be forever changed and transformed because we committed to going. Father, we thank you for the green light ahead. In Jesus' name we do pray. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Prophetess Jerry, and uh, the, the next person will be coming in. Please don't forget to share. We'll be praying for the next few hours. Bring your friends. Tag your mom. Tag your aunts and your uncles. Tag them. Bring them in. But just know that, remember, it's, it's time to go, and there's a divine transfer waiting to happen. Amen. Amen. Come on. Let's thank God for this man of God. Amen. I'm telling you, he is a wealth of knowledge. I don't know about you, but I receive every single thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. That he have announced to today. Amen. We thank God for you, man of God. I love you. Thank you for having me.